was supposed to be my day off, but I just realized that I have not filmed this video and the month is almost over. So we, I had to come in front of you and get this video going. It's 1960s babies. <laughs> So 1960s, oh my God, is this a crazy period or what? The makeup, it's heavy, heavy cake makeup all the way, cake crazy, a lot of liner, a lot of crazy stuff. So let's get into it. So according to my little book right here, that is Classic Beauty, The History of Makeup, it says, for the face, cake foundation or cream is used with translucent loose powder. So it says a natural foundation that matches the color of the skin is used. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. I have this one right here from Huda Beauty. And I have the Envato Pecan 330N. And we're just gonna throw this one on the face today um, because this is the only one that I have that is cream, I guess. It's a stick foundation, but it's a cream. It's not a liquid because they don't use liquid foundation this time of the year. This time, <laughs> this period, you know what I mean? Like uh, we're in complete different territory over here. So should we start with the good things or should we start with the bad things? Should, what should we start with about this period? I mean, the Beatles are going on, the greatest songs of all time, in my opinion, were created and sang during this time. For example, Paul Inca, what put your hand on my shoulder? Do you have Frank Sinatra who is singing? his heart out about his way and then of course we have what a wonderful world um i absolutely love these songs and there's so many many others that are absolutely making this period incredibly beautiful um and memorable memorable of course Elvis Presley is going going hard during this time good for him you know what it's one of the it's one of those people that is just like everybody knows like if you say Elvis Presley everybody knows let me adjust my lighting okay I think this might be a little bit better all right, so I was saying beautiful music, very beautiful music. Now, let's see. I also heard that they would put some lighter foundation under the eye to just lighten up their area around their eyes. So I'm just going to do that one today. Be a little bit cheeky. I'm not going to put a lot, just a little bit. Um, of this from uh, Pure 14 One Love Your Selfie Foundation. I'm just gonna use it as a concealer because you can do that and just kind of blend it a little bit in here. Of course, I'm not gonna do too much. Um, and then we're gonna go with a translucent powder because um, that's what they would use. So for the powder, we're going to go with Translucent Loose Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. And we're going to use this one to set both my eyes and my face. Have you ever wondered when the rouge became called blush? Well... This is the era. <laughs> Blame it on 1960s because this is the time when people decided, you know what? We don't like the rouge term no more. We wanted to call it a blusher. So there you have it. We have a blusher. Now the blush uh, during this time is used um, in the hollow of your cheeks. 
and also under the cheekbone. So this is the time when people decide to use a little bit of a darker blush to start to contour their face. So I am going to do just that. Watch this crazy technique going on right now. So I'm going to go with this darker one. I think that's a bronzer if you ask me, but it's like a lighter bronzer. It can go as a it can go either way. It can go as a uh, blush too. So I'm going to go right in here and just kind of push this in this era like under the cheekbone and in the hollow of your cheeks. So there you go. Just like that. I'm happy that we're getting closer and closer to what we're using today and what I like to use in my daily makeup. Now the brows are being kept very natural. Um, so I'm just going to go with this pencil from NYX. This is Micro Brow Pencil. And I'm going to try to fill in just a little bit in those areas and try to make it very soft and natural look. That's not necessarily the look I usually go for my brows. I like a little bit more like accentuated, a little bit more darker ones. But because I love makeup and I love this era, I'm going to go with a softer hand. All right, so for the eyeshadow, the colors that were used the most during this time says is white pink, aqua, green, blue, and brown. Um, yes, sir. So because I did a lot of greens uh, eye looks during the time, during the eras, right? I'm going to go with blue today. And today we're going to go with an eyeshadow palette that I haven't played with that much. I don't think I've showed it on my channel that much. And this is the KKW X Mario eyeshadow palette. And this is how this one looks like. Has that really nice blue in there that I want to try and play a little bit more with, but also has some nice browns in here. So let's go with it. Of course, the makeup is crazy heavy during this time. So uh, be prepared, okay? Don't say I did not warn you. So we're going to go with this color right here first. I'm going to go with this lighter brown and just kind of apply this all over the lid. Just kind of uh, softly uh, go around my eyelid before we go with some crazy, heavy, weird colors, you know? So I'm just going to do this real quick. All right, so I'm going to take the blue color and I'm just going to go really ham, like really heavy with this color. My day-to-day -day life, I would never, I would never try something like this. But because today we're living like 1960s, according to my book. We need to put some heavy makeup on, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. So let's talk about the bad thing during this time, during this era. So the worst, or, or let's just say the, the most insane assassinations happened during this time. We know JF Kennedy is being assassinated in 63. And then we have um, Martin Luther King Jr. And then we have uh, Malcolm X as well. Just to name the one that were, you know, big names, huge names at the time. Each had their own different um, political view. But apparently they were not loved by everybody, you know what I mean? They were really not loved by everybody. And it's insane to me that there were so many people. I mean, U U.S. is very heavy on political 
battle, so to speak, you know, like people are really up and on for whoever they believe in. And uh, I, I noticed that over here, it's a little bit too crazy for me personally. I usually don't juggle into the politics era or I don't juggle into the religion era because that's just not me. I feel like everybody should have the right to choose who they want to support and I don't believe that there is a right or wrong candidate or a right or wrong political view. There's there's no such thing like a right thing. <laughs> you know, in politics, there's no such thing. So, I don't uh I don't get into that a gray area or the same thing goes with religion I think everybody should be allowed to do or have whatever religion they feel represents them the most and their beliefs of course the most but I am nobody to judge people based on that and that's my two cents about this situation and I'm gonna take this dark brown right here and I'm just gonna add this I'm just gonna make it a little bit more darker on the on the ends I would say I'm so glad I'm not I don't have to go anywhere <laughs> I don't uh I don't wear very heavy makeup like this, but I understand that the era was all about it. And wait, we're not even done yet. I'm gonna take whatever is left and just kind of coat a little bit under the eye as well. Alright, so we're gonna do some liner. I'm gonna use this uh, Lily Lashes Power Liner because it's gonna be the adhesive for my um crazy lashes today so we're gonna throw this on they used to wear a very heavy liner so i'm gonna go with huda beauty The hair that is very popular during this time is the beehive. All right, so the lashes that we're going to apply are these ones from Huda Beauty. And they are in Hootie Hashtag 23 Lengthy because they're pretty crazy. So I'm going to try to apply these on top. Alright, do you think these lashes are big enough? I think they're good enough. Now, I'm going to do mascara on the bottom. Now, they would do falses on the bottom as well. I cannot do that. So, I am going to do just mascara on the bottom. But, I might just do some liner drawings as well. So, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Because it needs to be like very heavy. Because this is heavy makeup over here, okay? I'm actually just going to push a little bit the mascara and just kind of try to create more streaks like that. Alright, let's do some little flaky flakes over here i'm gonna do just a little bit of liner and i'm gonna do the liquid one just gonna make some extra hairs all right kind of looks a little crazy but we'll take it and now for lips they would go for something like a pink light pink color and i have this one from exo beauty that is called kairos 
and I think it's gonna work really well oh yeah that's the vibe all right, so I put my hair up and this is the look. What do you guys think? I would have to say I do not like this makeup. It's a little bit too heavy for my liking, but I understand it. It's a lot. It's a look. It's definitely striking as well, but yeah this is how it looks like let me know down below if you like it or what will what is most resembling your makeup uh style uh from this crazy makeup look um and the romanian phrase of the day it is dumnezeu et dă dar nu et bagă în trastă dumnezeu it's the dar nu it's baga and trust what that means it means god gives you but it doesn't shove it down your purse so basically what that means means that um when we say that it means like you know you get the opportunity but you have to make something out of that opportunity you just can't just like be expecting everything to be given to you you know so that's basically what that means there you have it this is all i have for you today another era it's done completed all right i'll see you all next time with another video bye now